look, it's been since 1985 that Indianapolis has been the host of this game. What's it mean to be back in here and, and be in front and center? Well, first of all, Indiana is the basketball mecca. You know, they like to talk about New York. Indiana is the place to be, and this is for 18 years. I was lucky, I was blessed, I was fortunate to have this fan base, all these people that are out here rooting, cheering, and people say I'm the face of this all-star, but Tyrese Halliburton, it's his time. He is the captain of the ship now, and I'm the co-captain. I have a question. Yes. You played here 18 years. Yes. The climate of what today is, guys go find teams. Super, what made you stay and never venture out to be part of a super team or some other thing or free agency? What made you stay in Indiana? Don and Walsh took a, a gamble and went out on a limb. Everyone here in 87, our draft, wanted Steve Alford. They were coming off a national championship with IU. He was a local Hoosier legend, as you mentioned him in the open, one of the, the great Indiana uh, young players here. He took a gamble, and this fan base, these fans, we laughed, and we did a lot of crying <laughs> because of this guy to my right. So there was no way that I could ever go anywhere else because you guys took a, a gamble on me, we cheered and we had great moments, but we also had a lot of sadness together, and we were all in this together. And that's how we do this together in Indiana. Reggie, speaking of great moments, give me your top two moments as, as a Pacer. Top two. Stand up. Bow to the fans. Top two moments as a Pacer. I would say uh, the 25 point fourth quarter in the garden. I mean, that's what's the choke. By, by coming out. That would, that's one of them. The but also, there, no, there's one that, that's, that's nice. <laughs> but a lot, of, a lot of things that people don't understand, the shot against, at the time, the New Jersey Nets, when I was a little bit past my prime, we were moving in a different direction with J.O. and them. It was game five when the first rounds were game of five. Jason Kidd and them had the number one seed. We were the eighth seed. We should have won that series. To me, it was that moment of when you're past your prime and you can still have those moments. That's kind of one of the, those the, moments. The Reggie Miller show, t talk show wasn't top two. I loved it. I, I love my, I love the Reggie Miller. Who remember Reggie Miller? the Reggie Miller I show? I remember the Reggie Miller oh, yeah. show. Yeah. It, it prepared, you were a guest you on it. On I was like, wasn't I like one of the first, <laughs> one, of the, one of the first guests on there? And you were talking like Michael Jackson. You had such a, oh, this is. That's my favorite moment right there. Yeah, like the right? push off. yeah, when Randy Brown started walking <laughs> off as the shot was in the air, he knew it was good. Look, my Davis boys, they set some good screens for me. Mark Jackson, your yes. very good friend, yes. Kenny Smith. Shout out to the Davis boys. Guards to set me up. There's that oh, talk show. Look at this. Here look, we go. Look at that jacket. Oh, we got our Shaq's oh, back there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Listen to his voice. Listen to his voice. Oh, man. No, he was a different guy there. in the world. I, I'm not. That's just a repetition they gave me because I got him a couple of bar brawls. Um, you know, it is embarrassing calling your friend seven. You hurt your little toe. Uh, but actually, <laughs> actually. Remember when Chuckster was soft spoken like that? Do you remember yeah, those yeah, days? Yeah, you were soft spoken voice. Nice. I like oh, your mustache right. too. You should bring back the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> And those fake eyebrows you have. Too. I never had fake <laughs> eyebrows. Was, no, no, no. Those are eyebrow hey, lashes. You know, uh, you know, Reggie. <laughs> obviously, playing your entire career here. You heard that what, what was it? What was it like to play for Larry Bird? Pressure, a lot of pressure, and people don't understand when you're playing for such an iconic coach. Him coming back, obviously being from here, but playing in Boston and being so successful. Those games that we had to actually go and play in Boston, and I believe we played there 10, 11 times, and we were like 10 and one. It was so much pressure playing with him because he expected excellence, and our practices were intense. Rick Carlisle was the associate head coach. Dick Harder was the defensive guy. 
but they were intense battles. Um, but we learned so much. His basketball knowledge was, you know, people just think that he played the game on instincts. No, he thought the game through, and it was fantastic. Reggie, on Saturday, we're going to run Indiana Glory. Yeah. The conversation you had with, uh, with Larry and, and with Zeke. Um, you've known these guys forever. Was there anything that came out of that conversation when you're, when you're in a room and you're talking that you said, wow, I maybe didn't know that, but maybe you just it wasn't on your radar? It, well, first of all, I was surprised all three of us got in the room, but I think Charles could probably, I didn't know this. So to come out of this interview, Isaiah used to travel with the Celtics back after the playoffs in the early 80s. And it, I found that so odd because... What do you like, mean you used to travel? I'm confused. After the playoffs, remember when you would see Isaiah in the finals when it was Boston versus right, LA exactly. and Isaiah would be at the game? At the game. Everyone assumed that Magic was getting him those tickets. He was getting those tickets from Red Auerbach and the Celtics because he was traveling on the plane, on the bus. Seriously? And, and I was like, why? He's like, I needed to know how to win. Like, that's why you hear all the beef between him and, and Michael in Chicago. He's like, we weren't worried about Chicago. Our team to beat was the Celtics. And yeah. the only way I was going to beat the Celtics, I had to learn everything about them, which was surprising that Red and Larry and Mikel, they went along with him traveling and being around, learning from them yeah. how to beat them. That's amazing. I didn't know that at all. I was shocked because you would that would be like me traveling – Asking Listen. Michael Jordan, can I ride the bus? Which, <laughs> hell no, huh? yeah, yeah. would have ever happened. I don't, I don't even think ESPN would let us on their show. <laughs> like, let us on their bus. You know, as, as we came on the air tonight, uh, Reggie, I referenced something that is said up here uh, a lot in, in Indiana, that in 49 states it's just basketball, but this is Indiana. By, spirit, by spending 18 seasons here, um, what made it that way? What did you see away from the court um, that just told you, um, I love basketball, but this hits a little different? This is the coolest thing, and everyone in here will appreciate that because I'm sure a few of my old neighbors are here. Come playoff time, which made it so unique playing in a smaller market. Every time I would leave my house to come down to Market Square Arena or Conseco or Gamebridge, what it's called now, Everyone in my development, all the kids would be outside with homemade signs in their front yards, banners in their front yards. So it took me like five, 10 minutes to get out of development once I got on out. Everyone was invested in us. And I mean, yes, being in LA, Chicago, New York, there are bigger markets, but we're in this together in a small market. And that's when I say we laughed and cried together. Those signs, trust me, people, I saw all of them. And I loved them. Thank you so much for those signs. That's why Indiana is different when in terms of basketball. You have a player here now, Tyrese Halliburton. When KD is gone, when LeBron is gone, when Steph is gone, do you think he could be the face of this league? I say yes. I think he's, he's on a, a short list because he has all the intangibles. He's a family man. He's a team player. He hits big shots, and it's all about winning with him. He'll do whatever it takes to win. And to be here, when I say he's the captain now, he understands, and this fan base understands, that he involves everyone. And that's what it takes to win a championship in smaller markets. I don't know if you guys saw this today, Chuck, Kenny, Shaq. There was a, uh, there was a press release by uh, Warner Brothers Discovery. Um, and you know what? Uh, you know what it was about. I was do not. That? What was it? It was about Reggie Miller and a contract extension. Yeah. Oh, congratulations! congratulations. <laughs> well, look, we're a team, right? Exactly. We're a team. we're a team. We're the best basketball show on the planet. You guys obviously navigate that. We follow in your footsteps. So, for you guys to start all this up, and then for me to call games. Um, I, I have the best teammates in the business right here. Well, well, you know, well Reggie, congratulations on the contract extension. Thank you. You know, we give you a hard time, but it's probably the furthest east you've been because <laughs> you only do West Coast games. So 
How does it feel to be past the, like the Mason Dixon line? I'm tired right now, truthfully. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you say that, but all the the Lakers, Thunder, the Clippers, Boston. Phoenix. I was just in Boston for a week. No, you wasn't. For, no, you weren't in Boston. I was just in Boston for a week. Yeah, he did the What were you doing clone. there for a week? That was your we clone. A Tuesday, Thursday joke. game. Okay. Tuesday, Thursday. I, I, I do have a, a, another question. So you have 18 years of teammates. You know, uh -oh. we always, uh -oh. your top five teammates, you know, they're your route, Mount Rushmore of teammates over those 18 seasons. You better they're, name the Davis boys. Well, <laughs> so I'm going to say the Davis boys as one. All right, Antonio and Dale, they count as one. Okay. Obviously, obviously, not obviously, obviously Mark Jackson. Okay. The big fella, Rick Smith. Okay. Derek McKee. Oh, Derek McKee Derek that jumps McKee. in the top five. I love me some Derek McKee. No raw no test, no... No, no, and I'm going to go with the younger boys. Which one? J.O. I, I raised J.O. He was my locker mate. And when we made the trade, when we had to get rid of, like, Dale, I, w I wanted him to know that he was welcome here. And he showed these Indiana fans how good he was. So Jermaine O'Neal. Okay. There All you right. go. So when you're, and when you're around Indianapolis this week, uh, keep your eye out for the mural that features... Um, Reggie Miller. Yes, that's indeed. Uh, in action. Shout out that's to my statue. Shout that's out to Haywood Workman, man. You got. I love Woody too. Yeah, yeah. That, that dance I used to do. It's hard to that dance I used to do before the Michael Jackson. Come on, man. <laughs> yep, back it up. Yep. Come on, man. Charles, oh, Charles. 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 Why they do you like that, man? <laughs> 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 Eyebrow lashes, just like I said. I tell you, man. Ooh. Oh. Underdog put that on a t-shirt for everybody in attendance. Reggie, enjoy every second of the weekend, man. It's good to see you, brother. Thank you, Jay. Right. Thank you.